Generally, we think of sleep as the opposite of wakefulness. In this viewpoint, brain regions that promote sleep inhibit brain regions that promote wakefulness. Similarly, wakefulness promoting regions inhibit sleep promoting regions. But hold on, haven't you ever woken up also during the night? It happens to most of us, but it's quite harmless to happen unless it becomes too frequent. Then we should be concerned because it's possible that we suffer from a sleep disorder. In this study, we have asked directly how wake-promoting systems act during sleep. We first thought of noradrenaline. Why? Noradrenaline is a molecule well known to be released in moments of high attention or stress when we are awake. Noradrenaline is a neurotransmitter released from the locus ceruleus, or LC. The LC is located in the brainstem with wide projections towards both forebrain and hindbrain. However, whether it has a function during sleep, this is still poorly understood. Our goal in this study was to directly test the role of the locus ceruleus noradrenergic system in the modulation of non-REM sleep substates of low or high arousability. We use genetically encoded biosensors to monitor noradrenaline levels in real time. We implanted electrodes and optic fibers to monitor these signals and other signals of the brain during sleep and wakefulness. We observe that noradrenaline fluctuates between high and low levels, consistent with changes in the sleep spindles and the heart rate, both of them markers of arousability. We then studied the direct role of the LC in these fluctuations by means of closed-loop optogenetics. We found that both activation and inhibition of these cells disrupted the fluctuations and the organization of the sleep spindles and the heart rate. In all these experiments, we ensured that the LC was correctly targeted by monitoring the changes in pupil diameter, which are also controlled by noradrenergic signaling during both sleep and wakefulness. Locus ceruleus noradrenaline signaling is high during non-REM sleep and fluctuates within this heightened state. These fluctuations coordinate sleep spindles but also heart rate. In this way, non-REM sleep is divided into substates with different degrees of arousability. Okay, you, you confirm yeah. this. What this study shows is that the noradrenaline is also important during sleep. Sleep can no longer be considered as the opposite of wakefulness. These findings have major implications to understand neurological disorders where the LC is damaged or even degenerates, such as Alzheimer's disease or Parkinson's disease.